Hi guys, Holly from Vapemail. I'm doing two videos, one for the Vupu Drag original and one for the Vupu Drag 2. Uh, quite often the buttons either break or come uncontactable or get jammed or whatever. And this video, these two videos are going to show you how to do it. This video is whatever the title says it is. The other video will be linked in the description. They're both very similar ways to fix them, but they're not the same. So make sure you watch the corresponding video. Uh, it were very quick videos, so if they're not perfect or you can't see very well, I'm sorry about that, but it is just for demonstration purposes. It does work 100%. If you can't see properly, it doesn't really matter. Just follow what I'm saying and it should work for you. Cheers, guys. Hi guys, Holly from Vietnam. My man Steve just come in with his Vupu drag. The uh, this video applies to these this version and the older version. Uh, quite often the button either jams underneath or it stops firing. It's quite a simple fix. You need a T4 driver, and all we have to do can be quite fiddly, mind you. Take out the screws in the back. Try not to lose any screws because obviously uh, when you put your device back together it's got a much higher chance of breaking. Now depending what model you've got, I think the older version's got a screw inside. We know all four screws are out, so if you start getting a bit of a tugging, the case will come out. Chances are you're going to have to remove the uh, 510 connector, which you'll see Steve's adapted here and made it a bit more waterproof. Get some tugging. Obviously, when I say tug, I don't mean yank it, you don't want to uh, break it. Oh, yeah, see, as soon as you took it out, all the buttons all fall through. Now, a big problem with Steve's here looks like it's got some water inside the screen, a bit of water around the button, so that's probably what's causing it. Let's get some tissue. Just get a wipe down. Whatever you're doing this guys, you want to be careful not to... Why are you doing this guys, you want to be careful not to tug any of the wires. Because you could end up damaging it completely. So you've been to the shop and got some UHU glue. And um, this is actually silica that I'm just received in a box this week the uh, instead of a silica jar I think it's a piece of uh, a new form of plastic type silica I don't know but any relatively thin material you just want to get a right small snippet on Put a right little bit of glue on, you want to put it onto the material and not onto the button and then stick it on. And what that's going to do is because it's got rid of the outer on the button, the notch inside the button's not big enough. And that little bit of plastic, you can use paper, but obviously paper will go thin. I suppose you could use sellotape, anything that's not just going to break and crumble away or dissolve. So, ideally, a little bit of plastic or rubber. 
should do fine. And then before you let it set, you need to put a button on. And just test that you can feel it clicking. And if you can feel it clicking, all you have to do is wait for it to dry. Right, so now as glue is dried, we need as buttons. And this is where it gets a little bit fiddly. I'll turn it upside down. I hope you can see. And you just want to put the buttons back into the places inside the shell. Like so. And then you want to put it in more diagonally if you can. And just slot it in. When you've done that, you want to hold it in and press your button. Make sure you can feel it pressing. Happy days. Put that back on. Right way, obviously. And screw it back together. At uh, this point, it would be good to mention as well, any, if any uh, rubbers have come out, this one I'm putting in, Steve's putting in himself, but if any uh, rubber seals or anything have come out of the uh, case as you've took it apart, make sure they go back in exactly how they were, because if not, then your mod won't be as waterproof or liquid proof as it was before. Make sure you tighten it up nice and tight, but not too tight, you don't want to break it. And then always to get a double check that it works. Check out the miser. And just also just get a few minutes to make sure it's not sticking on and staying on. So good. Cheers guys, stay cloudy!